What is going on guys? This is Joey Young coming out with another video today. Today I'm going to be talking about discus. So recently I picked up a few new discus uh, for my tank and um, I thought it would be a pretty good idea to actually bring back the how to keep discus series and I'm not going to do 101, um, 201. I'm just going to say how to keep discus because it's really general and I want to make different topics probably throughout the year on how to keep discus and certain topics that relate to discus keeping. So really in this video I want to explain or show you my method in how I train my discus to take flakes. Now there's a couple benefits for actually feeding flakes versus you know using always uh, dried food, frozen food. It's just more expensive to be honest to use all the other ingredients. Um, you can use beef heart is what a lot of people do to fast grow the discus. Um, it's it's a whole ordeal and process to go ahead and buy beef heart, grind it up, you know, throw your ingredients. Sure, a lot of people do like it, freeze it. It's a real mess to be honest, and it can pollute the tank really easily if they don't eat it. Um, I generally really like just using flakes, just because you can get them anywhere. Um, they're pretty cheap, and really you can look for any ingredients in the flakes as you need them. So if you can get your discus to eat flakes, you can really get uh, flakes with really you know high protein to grow them out faster. You can get um, flakes that have um, blood worms in them, you can have uh, black worms in them, garlic, you can have you know more vitamins, uh, immune system boosts, um, different types of dewormer. So if you know you buy wild discus or you buy discus from somewhere else and you want to deworm them to make sure that you know they're all clean. Um, you know that's the good method because the flake already has it you don't have to treat the tank they're just they just need to eat the food or eat the flakes so as you can see if you can get your discus to eat the flakes it's really really easy on you because actually if they eat the flakes they'll eat anything else that you throw at them in the tank all right so let's get right into it so the method i'm going to explain to you is basically the starving method all right so let's paint a scenario you just bought some brand new discus either from you know online or at your local fish store you bring it home you're all excited and you put it in the new tank, you know, the tank's all cycle acclimated um, and you pop your fish right in and what do, you know, people normally do, you know, they turn on the lights, um, they go ahead and, you know, start trying to, to feed the discus. Day one of getting your new discus, don't feed them. No matter, you know, how hungry they look, no matter how active they look, you know, let them adjust to the new environment, to the tank. It's already stress enough for them to, to be netted, you know, to be thrown in a bag, you know, to be home and then you suddenly, you know, throw into this new environment and, you know, the water conditions are all funky and pH is all over the place and just, you know, random, and you know, trees and, and branches are in this tank. Um, so, you know, let them adjust. So day one, don't even feed them at all. On day two, day two is where you'll try um, just a very little small amount of flakes and really what you're looking for is activity in the discus. Now discus are really shy fish and they're really skittish in the beginning until they get used to you or used to the environment. If you look really closely at your discus, if they're hiding in the corner or they're hiding behind something, they're most likely not going to take the food. So on day two when you go ahead and try to feed them very little flake, be prepared to actually try to scoop that out because most likely they won't eat it. On day three, the discus should be a little bit more familiar to the environment. Uh, they should be acclimating a lot better. Their color is what you actually want to also look at. Should color up a lot better. They should, you know, try to come out, swim out, about. Um, again, they still may be really skittish, and then depending on the fish, they may or may not, I guess, adjust as fast. So again, try a very small amount of flakes on day three, and again, be prepared to go ahead and net that out as well. Now day four and five, by day four and five, you guys are probably like sweating right now, figuring out, oh crap, you know, my fish has not eaten, you know, for days. I need to like figure out something. I need to dump a bunch of chemicals in this tank. I need to like go and buy X, Y, Z. Don't freak out, you know. Actually, you know, fish can go days without eating. And, you know, depending on the size of your fish, especially the size that I'm getting at my fish, you know, they're, they're huge, they're huge fish. They didn't get to this size by being dumb and not eating food. Also, another thing about discus, uh, depending on what size you get, especially adults, it's going to be a little bit harder to train for them to take food because, you know, they got to this size or they got this big eating a certain way or eating a certain diet. So one, 
you're basically breaking their habit or breaking something that they really enjoy or like and trying to feed them something else. So it's gonna take them time to actually get used to you know what you're feeding them. So especially with adult discus, it takes a couple more extra days. Actually, with juvenile discus, it's a lot easier to feed. So on day four and five for me, it was pretty much the same. So the discus would actually run in the back corner when, I, when I'm approaching the tank, and they would just hide in the back. I threw in the flakes, again, just a little bit, and the flakes would actually settle to the gravel. The, the pleco would come out once in a while to come out and eat, um, and I would back out of the tank and kind of just walk away, and the discus would actually come out um, from the corner once I'm kind of away from the tank because they're really not used to me yet because if you think about it You know, they're yay big and you are like this big so a, a huge shadow You know coming across the tank, you know, they're gonna freak out So on day four and five for me if I back out away from them They'll go and peck at the food on the floor slowly So one I know they're eating and actually on day six they started coming out a little bit more um, Again, they were in the corner once I got there once I threw in flakes, they came out, and as you can see, they're slowly coming out and just slowly pecking at the food and just eating small crumbs here and there. I noticed that the actual male, the male is the one that's eating, is eating a lot better, I guess, than the female. The female would kind of look at the food once in a while and then peck it once in a while. But uh, I would say probably in a couple more days here, they'll get really acclimated to the environment, you know, because they're the only ones in the tank, they're probably a little bit skittish. Normally they're, you know, in a bigger group of discus, so uh, that generally calms them down. But because this tank is designed for only really a pair of them, and eventually, you know, I'll get a couple more discus in here. Right now, they're really skittish, and the good thing is they're already eating flakes. Now, with smaller discus, they're way easier to train to eat flakes. For my smaller discus, on the second day, they literally came up to the tank, and they're like, feed me, feed me, feed me. Now, a couple tips in training your your discus to actually take the food. So I had two scenarios. I had one scenario where I had a group of smaller discus and in a tank with other fish. And I had a pair of discus which only had a bristlenose pleco in the tank. Now when I fed uh, the smaller tank with a bunch of other fish in there with a the smaller discus, the other fish would go into a feeding frenzy which kind of triggers the discus um, to go, oh my god, you know, there's food in the water, I gotta eat, I gotta find it. And I noticed that on day two when I had these discus and they would just really consume everything. Um, they were literally like, oh, you know, what is this plecos doing? They're eating something. I, I got to find what they're eating. And the other tank with the bristle nose, the bristle nose kind of likes to hide and it doesn't really like to come out um, during, you know, daylight. It comes out at night. Um, noticed that, you know, no feeding frenzy in that, in that tank. The discus would be in the back hiding, you know, for days. Um, before it will come out. Now if you guys don't like to take the chance or if you're really scared and like you're on day five or six and they haven't even pecked at any flakes or anything like that, go ahead and feed the discus some of their favorite foods. Now this is really just to get them eating so that you know that they're at least not going to die or starve on you and eventually you can try you know continue feeding the flakes until they take. Now the food I recommend is black worms um, so there's just dried black worms and the other thing is frozen blood worms those two food tend to be the discus's favorite food and they'll literally take it right away if you know it doesn't matter what size they'll take it so don't worry about like you know them not having to eat any of those all right guys so i hope those tips help you guys train your discus to take flakes if you have any questions or comments leave them below and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And until next time, guys, peace.